guys, we're doing our last chapter, or our last lesson in chapter eight. So we're on eight and we're on lesson 11. And this is all about lines of symmetry. So let's talk about what that is. So lines of symmetry, it says a line, I'm reading right here, a line on which a figure can be folded so that its two halves match exactly is called a line of symmetry. So many game boards have lines of symmetry so that they can be folded and stored in a box. Let's find some together. So if you look, some figures have exactly one line of symmetry. So remember, if I folded this letter on the line that I'm about to draw, ask yourself, is it equal on both sides or is it the same on both sides? So let's see. Is it the same? No, it's not. Okay, what if I drew it up here? No, it's not. It, if I folded it, it wouldn't be the same on both sides. Well, what if I did it like this? No, not that either. Okay, what about right here? No. Okay, let's try this one. What about right here? Is it the same on both sides? Well, yeah, there's this and this. And then it angles down and angles down and comes across and up. Oh, look, it's the same over there. And then there's that part of the triangle. <gasps> that is a line of symmetry. So this one has one line of um, sy um, symmetry. Symmetry. Okay, now let's draw it just like the other we did before. That should be a line of symmetry, right? It's not. It's not the same on both sides. Hmm, but if I drew it, oops, a little off. If I drew it right there, would that be a line of symmetry? You're right, it would be. Awesome. Okay. Some figures have more than one line, so let's see if we can figure it out. If I drew it in half, right here, would it be the same on both sides? Yes, it would. Okay, what if I drew it right here? Would it be the same on both sides? Yes, it would. Well, let's try diagonal, though. Would it be the same on both sides? No, let's try this way. Would it be the same on both sides? No, so this one had two lines of symmetry. Well, let's try this X now. We'll start right here in the middle. Is it the same on both sides? Yep. Okay, what if I did it right here? Is it the same on both sides? Yep. Okay, now what if I split it? right there. Yeah, it would pretty much be the same on both sides. Right here. Yep, it pretty much would be. Okay, so this one had four lines of symmetry on it. Crazy. Okay, now let's look at these ones. If I folded it right here, would it work? No. If I folded it right here, would it work? No, what if I did diagonal? No, what about this diagonal? No, so this one has zero lines of symmetry. What about if I fold it in half right here? No, well what if I fold it in half right here? No, what if I folded it in half there? No, they're just not showing up the same on either side. That's okay, some objects don't have the lines of symmetry and that is totally fine. So let's do some practice together. Okay, I want you to think, where could we find a line of symmetry on this C? Would it be right here? No, it wouldn't be the same on both sides. What about right here in the middle? Yeah, then it would be. Awesome. Okay, now let's look at the R. OK, 
Can you find any lines of symmetry on this one? Give you a second to think about it. Yeah, you're right. There are none. If I went diagonal, it wouldn't work. This diagonal wouldn't work. This one wouldn't work. That one wouldn't work. So R has zero lines of symmetry and that symmetry and that's okay. Okay, I want you to try these two figures on your own. See if you can find them. Draw it maybe with your finger on the screen, whatever you want. Where would a line of symmetry be for M and for I? And do they have more than one? Okay, so let's look at it. M has one right here. I could fold it on that and it would work either way. What if I folded it in half this way? No, that one wouldn't work. What if I folded it in half diagonal? No, that wouldn't work. What if I folded it in half diagonal this way? No, that didn't work. So this one has one line of symmetry. Okay, now the eye, I can fold it in half right here and I could also fold it in half right here. Diagonal it wouldn't really be the same either way I did it. So this has two lines of symmetry. Okay, now I want you to try to do it on this figure. If I folded this kid in half this way would it be the same? No, but if I fold it in half this way, would it be the same? Yeah, it would. Okay, so this one had one line of symmetry. Try it on this one. Where's the line of symmetry here? Maybe it has more than one. You figure it out. Okay, if you were doing it, you probably found one. Right there, good job. Okay, hey, try to find it on this one. There might be more than one, look for it. Okay, the only line of symmetry would be right there. I'm cutting it in half through the middle right there. Try this one now. Where would the line of symmetry be? Maybe there's more than one. If you put the line of symmetry right there, oh, that was not a great line. Let's try it again. Whoa. There we go, that was a little better. Okay, if you put it right there, then yes, you found the right one. Okay, try this hockey stick first. Okay, so by now you should have tried to find one, and guess what? This one has none. There is no way I could split it to make it the same. So, it has none. Try the baseball bat now. Okay, so if you tried the baseball bat, you would realize cutting it there wouldn't work. The only way to get it, not the best slide, the only way to get a perfect line of symmetry would be right through the middle just like that. Okay, we have two more. Find the lines of symmetry here. There might be more than one. This one actually has a lot. So it has one right through here. 
And then there's one that goes through right through here. Then there's one that goes through right through there. And then another one that goes through right through there. And then the last one, oh, that was not a great line. Let me try that again. Oof, the struggle, I'm gonna go this way, would be right through there. So there are one, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry on this one. I'm not counting these ones because look, this point right here is attached to this one right here. So I just went until I didn't reach, until I reached the ones that were already attached to one. Does that make sense? So I can't count this one because it already comes to the one. Can't count this one because it goes to the two. Can't count this one because it goes to the three. Can't count this one because it goes to the four. Can't count this one because it goes to the five. And I already counted these ones. So that's why I can't count their other sides. Okay? So it has five lines of symmetry. This is the last two problems, the last slide, but the last two problems. Where are the lines of symmetry for this triangle? Does it have more than one? If I was to look, I know I could cut it right here. I couldn't cut it right here though, but I could cut it right there and right there. So it has a total of three lines of symmetry. You can see one, two, three. And remember, I can't count this one because it was attached to the one. Can't count this one because it was attached to this two. Can't count this one because it was attached to the three. So some of you might get confused and say there's six lines of symmetry, but there's not. There's only one, oh! one, two, and three. Because the other side, this one right here, really goes to this two already, okay? So that's why we would only say we have three even though there's six points across. Okay, last one. Find the lines of symmetry for this triangle. Well, would this one work? No. Would diagonal work? No. Would this diagonal work? No. But what about this? Yes, it does work. So it has one line of symmetry because I drew one line. Even though there's a point here and a point here, it still counts as just one line. It's like a line segment in a way. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, let me know on Google Hangouts, and I'm more than willing to help you. See you guys later. Bye.